Hi, Carl here for Pro-AV TV. I'm here at the Vitex Stand at IBC 2016 talking to Richard Payne from Holden. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. I've asked you that several times today yeah, already. That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what are we looking at? All fine. Um, we're looking at a very exciting new product called the Paralynx Dart. Now, this, this looks a, really nice. This is the first showing here at IBC, and this is really quite revolutionary because, as you can see, we've got it mounted here. It's a video sender, which will send uncompressed video at up to 25 or 30 frames a second in HD. Uh, 300 meters to a receiver and it has a micro HDMI input uh, and it also has a USB output which can be used to power micro or small cameras like this GoPro here but you really in order to appreciate quite how small this box is if I just take it off the helmet here put it in the palm of my hand it really is tiny you see, it's you know large matchbox size mm. and 300 meter uncompressed zero latency SDI sending from a box this big. So it can be powered, you can mount a, an LPE6, a Canon battery, straight on the back like that, so you don't need an external power source, and then as I say, the USB out will be powered so you can power your camera from that. So this will be out in about you know a month, two months time, and will retail probably about two and a half thousand pounds. So it will actually be a very low cost way of sending video um, 300 meters. How do you think this fits into the Paralynx line? Well, in the Paralynx line, this is, this is basically a, a miniaturized version of their existing transmitters. Now, the Paralynx brand has always given you the simple, it gives you distance, but it doesn't give you the features you get from Teradek. There's no up-down cross-conversion, no look-up tables, uh, there's no dual output ones which have both HDMI and SDI. In fact, this one, although it has micro HDMI inputs on the receiver, which is here, we only have an SDI output, mm -hmm. so it's a very particular sort of workflow. But if you're trying to in integrate action cams, or if you want even a lightweight transmitter receiver for the top of your camera, which, which is a little bit lower profile, because obviously you know, we can move our aerials a little bit like this, and we can have this on top of the camera, it doesn't take up so much room. If, you're, if you've got a camera on your shoulder and you're walking through doorways and things, you know, the aerials on top of the, the larger units can, can cause you problems or if you're lighting over the top of your camera, they can also create bunny ear shadows behind you. So, so this has got significant advantages for, for standard sending as well, plus this amazing ability to be used in the action cam market. This looks really nice. Thank you very much. Cheers.